unbelievable. We have beat Arsenal's best lineup, with the exception of Santi Cozzola. But come on, that's that's splitting hairs. That is their best lineup, and we've beat them with this injury depleted side without our best player in Anthony Martial, without our best defender in Chris Smalling, without countless first team starters like Wayne Rooney, Bastian Schweinsteiger, Matteo Darmian, even players like Phil Jones, Marouane Fellaini. We didn't have any of them, and we still won. Thanks to the kids. And now a lot of things have been said about our academy this year. About how shit it is. How we don't produce youngsters anymore. Any good youngsters. Well, I'm telling you something. Marcus Rashford has such a good future ahead of him. So does Fusa Mensa. The guy that um, came on, he's so strong. And trust me, when he gets a few games, he's going to be a well-known player. But we played so well. Now, why couldn't we do this throughout the season? I'm not going to complain too much because I can't. That was literally our best game of the season. Result-wise, performance-wise, it just wasn't expected. Looking at the two teams, Arsenal had to win this. They're, they're getting hyped as you know the potential title winners. And... We've been so, so poor. We're fifth, six points off Manchester City. Well, we were seventh, actually, when we started this game. Now back up to fifth, three points off Manchester City, who obviously have the Captain One Cup final to play later on today. And they have a game in hand. But still, it, it just shows, like, you can't predict this season. We were utterly tremendous. And early on, oh my god, I couldn't believe it. We played some nice football. Herrera wins the ball back, plays a nice ball to Varela, and it's a lovely first to first touch cross now that's something we struggle with crossing but this was fantastic and it caused Arsenal all sorts of problems came out to Rashford smashes it in first time finish that's three goals in two appearances for Rashford and not long after that five minutes it, it was it was kind of tiki taka football late I'm not sure who chipped it over but then Varela heads it backwards Lingard gets another cross in Rashford completely unmarked where's Gabriel where's Koscielny no one knows heads it in dreamland from four goals in 120 minutes that's as much as Radamel Falco in the entire of last season he's played two games and he's our fifth highest school scorer this year it's just unbelievable but typically like we do in this season we don't make things easy and it's some terrible terrible marking and um great ball in from Ozil that's assist number 18 this season I think and Welbeck heads it in but it just shows how how unexpected this 2-0 lead was because Welbeck scores against his former team and nothing's really said no one really cares like it, it's diminished because of Marcus Rashford and because we're winning, like, no one expected us to win today. Not even United fans. Like, I thought we'd lose this. I mean, anyone with a brain would probably think we would lose this. But we didn't. And that's credit to... I'm going to give credit to Louis van Gaal for once, all right? Because it looks as though he's finally changing the way he plays the system. I'm not talking about the results. I'm talking about the way he sets his players out. He's changed his tactics. We're now playing horny football, as he likes to... Likes to call it. So I'm loving this new philosophy. Keep it as horny. Brilliant. 11 goals, one conceded in our last three games. Admittedly, Shrewsbury, Michelin, but then Arsenal. Can't take that one away. In the second half, though, we extend the lead. And it, it it's just crazy. It's brilliant work. Rashford gets the ball. He's in so much space. And uh, he just finds the ball to Herrera. Now, obviously, the deflection took it away from Czech, but it might have been heading in anyway. Maybe Czech would have saved it. Who knows? It goes in. Uh, Herrera needed that. He's been poor recently, but he, w he was very good today alongside Schneidlin. They didn't make too many errors. I mean, a couple in the first half, but, uh, you know, on the whole, it was such a better performance. And, yeah, that made it 3-1. And, again, we didn't make things easy for ourselves. Again, it's poor marking, poor defending, and uh, the ball gets played in. I think Welbeck has the initial shot, brilliantly saved from De Gea. Comes up to Ozil, and he just hits it, it bounces, and goes into the top left-hand corner. And we made it nervy for ourselves at the end, but you know what? We held on, and we gave debutants, as I say, to Fusa, uh, Fusa Mensa. I can't even pronounce his name. And uh, also Weir as well came on for Herrera. So we've used 32 players this season. Now, obviously, that's because of injuries majority of the time. Like, Lou Van Hal is rightly getting plaudits for using youngsters, but we there's no way we would have used any anywhere near as many if it wasn't for the injuries and our thin squad. So... You know, I'll, I will praise him for that. I'm still Louis van Gaal out because, let's be honest, we're still fifth 
and he's made so many errors this season, but hopefully he can rescue his, uh, you know, his reputation. Like I really hope he does leave at the end of the season, but hopefully he can win a trophy, go out on a high, because he has had an illustrious career, but we can't forget the last three, four months, because we, we've only won, what, 10 in 30 games near enough? That's... That's like a third of our games. It's it's just really, really appalling. There's some stats that you just can't, just not acceptable for uh, a club of our stature. So, you know, it's a brilliant result and I'm just going to look on the up now. Hopefully we can get as many points as possible. Maybe we can break into the top four. Hopefully. One thing that helps us, Spurs play Arsenal next week. Spurs just won today, so that means that they are two points off Leicester, three points ahead of Arsenal. City have the Captain One Cup final, and then I think they don't play their next game until Spurs and Arsenal play. So we, we could be level on points with Manchester City, but then they'd have two games on hand next week. And Arsenal, I think we'd be, if, if they lose against Spurs, we would be one point behind them or two points behind them, providing we win our next game, obviously. So we, we've got a chance of scraping in the top four, but I still think Europa League, we need to focus on that, as well as the FA Cup. Like We want a trophy for the first time in God knows how long. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm full, filled with confidence. Our youth players were absolutely fantastic this game. And finally, we've shown we can play good football. We deserve to win with a weakened side against a top, top team who are, are title challengers. So, you know, I couldn't wish for more. 3-2, fantastic victory. Get in. Let's build on this.